Welcome to this uh, Blender tutorial for the absolute beginner. This is tutorial number two. I'll start by opening up Blender. Get rid of the splash screen, clicking somewhere. This tutorial is about the different panels, or if you want to, you can call them windows in, pa in Blender. I, I will try to call them panels throughout this tutorial. A panel is a rectangular area, and it can contain one of the 16 different aspects of the Blender functionality. If you do left-click on the icon in the lower left corner of a panel, you'll see what is available to you. Uh, there are 16 different types of uh, sets of functions, and for the present, this window is in the 3D view. Each aspect of the Blender functionality is specialized for its particular purpose, such as 3D modeling, animation, node-type materials, properties, and user profiles, for instance. If I click here in user preferences, or you, in a, not user profiles, but user preferences, and uh, set to input, and I want to make sure that this emulate 3D button mouse is pressed, and then I can click 3D view again, and this panel turns into the 3D view. In Blender, there are, it comes with a set of predefined layouts where these panels are organized in a particular fashion. We're now looking at the default layout. There are others, such as animation or composting. We'll stick to the default layout. Today, we will create a new layout and, and give it a um, chosen name. And before we can do that, we need to talk about the panels and what you can do with them. As I said, the panel is a rectangular area in the Blender main window. You can assign any, as I said, you can also assign any of the 16 aspects to a panel. Like this here is a 3D view. It can become a node editor. It's the same panel. It just has a different view of the Blender functionality. When you do so, the panel is specialized for the function it represents until, it ch until you change it back again. The information that you create in Blender, such as models, animations, and materials, are not changed because you changed the content of the panel. It's just that you have a different view of it. Things you can do with panels are to change their size. And the way to do that is that you find the edge of a panel either a horizontal or a vertical edge. And when the cursor turns into a double arrow, you can depress the left mouse button and move that edge in the direction that the arrow points. And you can move the header. Here, this 3D window had a header at the bottom. If you right click in that header, it allows you to flip it to the top. You can do the same again, flip it to the bottom. We'll now enlarge that window by making these two windows smaller. You can also, in some of the, of the panels, I should say, when I say windows, sometimes I really mean panels, because this is the main window is an actual Windows window. Uh, these are panels within that window. And I guess you can have a discussion about that, whether there are windows or panels. But anyway, uh, they have sub, some have sub panels. And they're, uh, when they're not visible, you can see a plus sign. If you click in that plus sign, the sub panel will appear. And if you want to remove it, you just find the edge to press the left mouse button and drag it out of sight like that. Also, the header can be removed like that and reappear. And to change a layout, which we aim to do in this tutorial, you need to be able to manipulate the panels themselves. And what you can do with panels are that you can split and join them. There are two um, thumb grip looking areas, one in the lower bottom corner and then one, the other one in the upper right corner. 
if you find one of those and put the cursor there, then the cursor turns into a cross. When, if, when you then press down on the left mouse button, you can, if you move horizontally, it splits the window horizontally. Do the same thing again and move vertically, then it splits the window vertically. To join the windows, you find that thumb grip again. You press the left mouse, left mouse button and you go into an adjacent window to join it with the other one. If I go from this window over to that window, nothing will happen because they're not the, the adjacent edges are not the same. However, if I go up into this window, because the adjacent edges are the, the same length, um, I can join them like by just releasing the left mouse button. So you find the corner, depress the left mouse button, go into the adjacent window, release it, and then you have one window or one panel. And now I'm going to change the layout. I'll create a new name for it. I want to call it model. And what I want to do is I want this window to be the only one here, or the one takes up all this space. And then I want to just, I don't want this to disappear. I don't want the, over, uh, the outliner window to disappear, but I want this other window to uh, cover it up more or less. It's still going to be able to get it back. And now, when I've created this model window, if I press Control U, it will. I'll have the opportunity to save this as a user preference. However, if I do do that, then that will be the default window that shows when I open up. So if I do that, Control U, save settings, yes, and I exit exit Blender, I open up Blender again, and that's the view that I'll have. Let's say that's not what I wanted. Then I can go, let's go back to default, which is the default layout, which can be changed by the way. If you change this layout and save it, then you'll have changed, you have changed the default layout. Press Control U again. Now I save that. I open up Blender again. And now it's the default layout that's the default layout. So this is what I wanted to talk about in this tutorial. I just want to repeat the way to split and join windows. You find the lower or upper corner. To press the left mouse button, move it. And you have a split window. You split the window. Do the same thing and just find the corner go into the adjacent window and release it. Also, before we end, there's a function called maximize, which you can find if you go to the header and right click in that, maximize area. Then it maximizes that area, or that panel, to take up the entire screen. The, or not the entire screen, but the entire blender, blender window. The way to get that back is to tile area, or you can simply press the control up arrow, con the control key and the up arrow key, and, this, and uh, it maximizes the area. You press the control and up arrow key again, and it goes back to tiling. So up, control up, control up, like that. So these are the basic functions of the, the areas or panels or windows in, in Blender, what you can do with them, how you can change the layout, and how they relate to each other. I thank you for listening, and I hope you uh, had a good experience. Talk to you soon. Bye.